bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. stuff is red lyrium seeker i see it beric but what's it doing here magic could have drawn on lyrium beneath the temple corrupted it <sighs> it's evil whatever you do don't touch it keep the sacrifice still someone help me that is divine justinia's voice called out to you. But... What's going on here? Run while you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Slay the elf. There. Who attacked? And the Divine, is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The Fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed. Albeit temporarily. I believe that with the Mark, the rift can be opened. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready!
didn't know you were awake. I swear. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. knew everything. It's complicated. We were all frightened after the explosion. Chancellor Roderick says that the Chantry wants nothing to do with us. Should be taken to Val Royal immediately. To be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe she is guilty. The elf failed.
Chain her! I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that, and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. So you've changed your mind about me? I was wrong. Perhaps I still am. I will not, however, pretend you were not exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done, united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. What if I refuse? You can go if you wish. You should know that while some believe you chosen, many still think you guilty. The Inquisition can only protect you if you are with us. We can also help you. It will not be easy if you stay. But you cannot pretend this has not changed you. If you're truly trying to restore order, that is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late.
If you're here to clean, Hess can get your bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh, you're her. Thren. Inquisition Sorry. quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Logain McTeer. Best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. With that attitude, I can't imagine how you made enemies in Denerim. People just don't want to hear the truth. I was at Ostagar, and I know what really happened. King Caelan overextended his position, and the Grey Wardens were too late lighting a signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Tan Loghain made the right decision. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harrick can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. His prices aren't too high. Yes? Oh, there's also my name. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. Goodbye. so far. Are we going to have new verses in the Chant of Light now for the Herald of Andraste? for hurrying with the potions. We have so many injured. We'll get them back on their feet, sister. Don't you worry. Who's back from the dead? Again. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. 
I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. Farewell. <laughs>